All right, you may be live with a blog, so I'll you all soon. Uh, here, time for our day outlook, a recap of yesterday's real weather. You see, we have some red flag warnings here for a fire danger in this area in the panhandle, so you gotta watch out for that. No uh, open burning fleet. Um, we had a tornado in Upper South Carolina yesterday, across Big Halley, three of them. We had a few unconfirmed ones that are probably gonna be confirmed here in Davidson and Randolph counties, there's a possible one in uh, near east of Lynchburg, Virginia. So we're going to keep an eye on that and update you when we'll find information out. But what we're seeing here is more tranquil, but much colder, much colder behind the front. As the front moves out, the northwest flow is kicking in, we're getting a much colder air coming in. The Pacific Northwest is getting very uh, unstable also at this time. And that's going to be the next storm, and we'll go into that in parallel. Let's take a look at satellite. You can see here's our next disturbance going to move into the Midwest. This may cause some severe weather in a couple days. High pressure building in behind this low. Just moving out to sea, at the front, and he's eastern progression. So, as you can see here, deep trough building into the air, and the next high pressure will move down and take over. So, the dry air has moved in. As you can see here in the eastern United States, and this is growing up here in the northwesterly flow, pushing in northerly flow here. You can see what's going on here, all this north and northwesterly flow. And it's really cold air. We're talking about 43, 39, 46. A lot of cold air has entrenched itself with the Catholic in front, and it's all moving to the east. Back to the dashboard, and we're going to take a look back here. This is just a couple other dashboards, so it's on the Springville Farnberg. It's really nice to uh, see the next system we're going to be in here in the Pacific Northwest. Winter weather issues here in the Inner Mountains, and a lot of rain coming from the West Coast. As we were discussing on the dashboard, we got the next low moving in. High pressure has dominated here in the east. Next low, it moves out. So you're going to get that little bit of a digging trough here and unsettled weather. So that's what we're going to expect in a couple days, but let's take a look at continuation here. High pressure continues to move into the east, cold nights, warm days, this return flow in the Midwest, which will warm it up. And then we may have to fear weather when we go towards Saturday as we get a front moving into this warm atmosphere. And this is northwest and another front coming down. The Canadian area, the Canadian West Coast and Alaska. As we move on, the front that moves to the east, rain and storms can develop here on the east coast. High pressure moves in. They're in westerly flow. And another storm, like I said, up here towards Alaska, and coming into the Internet West. And we continue on day five. You can see here's the next storm moving in. High across the Midwest. Fall out front here in the east, on the weather in between the showers and possibly some thunderstorms before this finally will get a kick out the sea. We move on, and the high pressure then builds into the eastern United States. And the next front, strong front, moves into the Midwest, with high building through most of the country, and gives you more mild and tranquil pattern. The country. And then later in the week, we're going to potential we'll be back in the Midwest and after deep hail, high winds, and tornadoes. Alright, let's take a look at the road area in the forecast and the DC area forecast. Most of the day, 50 degrees, 26 tonight, very cold, 51 and with sunny skies, 60 on Saturday with sunny skies, clear, cold night, and one day, 67 coming up from Sunday, and then a chance to shower moves in with that stalled out front I was talking about. 67 for Monday and into Tuesday. And for the DC area, shower shaping loss, that can be 20 degrees, 33 tonight, 46 on Friday, 53 on Saturday, 63 on Sunday, with lows in the 30s, with the warm up, with chance showers that fall off front on Monday and the Tuesday also in the Washington DC. Uh, uh, the capital of the United States. So, some, some nice weather for the weekend. Maybe it's a little bit unsettled by the beginning of next week. So, all in all, the weekend looks pretty nice.
DavidLiveWeatherBlogs.com. Another video from producer David Maybe on tornado that looks to be confirmed in Davidson County, North Carolina this afternoon. For LiveWeatherBlogs.com, meteorologist Stephen Davidson. Have a great day.